Hello there, it's Steve the Nortel Guy. This is a short video on how to change the set name that appears in the window when you call other phones. Now I have two phones sitting right here on this table. One is a 7316 over there, the other one is a 7310. You will see me make these Nortel Guy videos programming from either one of these sets. It does not make a difference. When it comes to programming, the programming can be done equally well from a 7310 or from a 7316. Now, I am programming on a BCM50, but the generally the, the programming steps that I'm going to show you would apply to a compact ICS or an 0x32. So what do I mean by set name? Well, let me give you an example here. So right now I've got the time and date on the screen. From this other phone, I'm going to call this extension, which is 221. Now the screen right now says Donna calling. So Donna is the set name of this other phone that you can't see in, this, in the video window right now. What happens a lot in organizations is that when the initial phone is installed, the, the installer collects the names of all the people who sit at the various desks with the various phone stations and he sets those names in the programming. But what happens as time marches on is that people leave the company and new people come in and inherit their extensions. So under this scenario, let's pretend that Donna's or Donna has left and Donna's phone has now been inherited by a guy named Bill. And so we need to change the set name, in other words, that, that name that appears in the window when Bill calls from his phone to say Bill instead of Donna. So we're going to enter the configuration programming mode. Feature star star two six six three four four now on BCM systems it will ask for user ID if we were working on a compact ICS or if we were working on a uh, 0 by 32 it would just ask for password so if you see user ID you need to put in seven uh, three eight six six two and then the password two six six three four four like I said if you're on a compact ICS or modular ICS or an 0 by 32 if it if it after you put in the feature star star two six six three four four if it just asks for a password then don't worry about the the user ID just put in the the password which is two six six three four four okay well here is my programming uh, screen terminals and sets I've got uh, four navigation keys backwards forwards show and um, back up or I like to think of it as escape so I'm going to hit the show key under terminals and sets that's this top one right here and then the show set is going to be uh, 222 that's that's Bill's extension which is currently named Donna so then I'm going to show again and then I'm going to hit the next key until I see name now here where it says name I'm going to do change now the way that we put in the letters here is very much the way that we used to send text messages from our cell phones back in 1999 you hit the key with the corresponding letter on it for whatever number of times you need to make the B appear. So B is on the letter 2. So I hit the 2 twice and then it produces the B. I hit the next arrow for the next space and I find the key with the I on it which is number 4. Now I take a shortcut instead of reaching up here and doing these arrows I actually hit the pound key which makes it advance one uh, space. Either way is fine. And let's finish spelling Bill. All right, and once you've finished putting in the name, you hit the next key, and then that saves it, and now you can exit the program. So, now that I've made that change, when Bill goes back to his desk at extension 222, and he calls this extension, it says Bill calling, all right? So it says Bill calling. So that's what we've done. We've changed the extension name in the system so that when, when that phone 222 is used, if it calls any other extension, it will display the set name Bill instead of Donna. Now just to alleviate any confusion, I'll just show you how to enter the programming mode from a, a 7316. Um, it's really the same. The phones look quite a bit different, I know, but, but the programming and, and the keys you press are pretty much the same. It's just that the navigation keys appear in a little bit different spot. Feature star star two six six three four four. User ID if you're on a BCM system is seven three eight six six two. And um, okay. And password two six six three four four. 
Okay, see, I've still got my navigation keys. They're just a little bit smaller arrows, but it's still the same concept. You've got these two keys over here, two keys over here. We've got backwards, forwards, show, and escape. So, for instance, if I hit show, but then I want to jump back up to where I was, I can hit the escape key. All right. Hey, one little thing to note about programming. Uh, somebody brought it to my attention that there are a few oddball systems out there, um, the BCM 400s, that in order to enter the programming mode, you do not do the feature star star 266344. You do the word system. Feature star star S-Y-S-T-E-M. Okay, so if you're not having any luck with the feature star star 266344, if you're just putting it in there and it's and the screen's not changing, then try uh, feature star star system. But then the password would still be the 266344. Okay, hope that helps somebody out with changing the names on the phone sets. Thanks for watching.